What is going on guys, welcome to another Nation of Expert Gaming videos and today I've got for you Team of the Year Danny Alves. As you can see my team is pretty beast, we've got Casillas in there, we've got Alba, Ramos and PK. We have Danny Alves being the right back there. We've got CDMs, we've got Xavi Alonso and then Cam, we've got Xavi. Left and right mids we've got David Villa and Di Maria. And then in the striking roles we have Diego Costa and Benzema. So with this team to upgrade it I really wanted to get Neymar. Uh, to be honest, it didn't feel that OP anymore. Uh, I kind of did a few decent games, but then sometimes it just seemed to be... It, I, I don't know if it's handicap or not. I, I think handicap does exist in the game still. I had my next team that's coming for the next team of the year, um, and it lost so many games, and then literally I took out the team of the year and then the few informs, and it destroyed people, and I just... I really think handicap still exists if you're going against teams that are low rated. Um, possibly I'm going to have to look into uh, doing single matches and then going against people with the same sort of star rating team as me. Uh, but yeah, and look at this goal from Danny Elvis. I could not believe that was the first goal that I scored. Um, I just went for it. I thought, why not? And uh, it did manage to score, which was actually really good. But yeah, I think handicaps are still in the game just because it seemed that it, it just seemed that I couldn't win. Like, every time I'd shoot, it'd be so unpowerful or so just not... It, there'd be no luck for me, in, in other words. I think it's probably luck more than handicap, but I generally just couldn't win the match. And then as soon as I changed the team, it worked perfectly. And look at that goal for PK. You just cannot write that better than that. Overhead kick from a corner with a centre-back. Let's face it, you're not going to get a better goal than that, really. Uh, but yeah, so I did manage to score two overhead kicks in this. Uh, in his entire video as well, but that's just absolutely sensational. I went mental after that just because it's PK. He should never be doing that. Benzema just li lovely chipping the keeper there, sending it in the wrong way. Absolute sensational stuff from him. He's actually a really good player. I would, I really want to try Neymar out with him, but unfortunately, if I uh, if I didn't have team of the year Danny Alves and just got normal Danny Alves, I would be able to afford him. But obviously, this is team of the year. Possibly uh, Neymar might be a squad builder in the future, but at the moment, whilst there's people that I can be doing. I might as well go for it. So talking about the team a little, you've got because he's a net. He's the best keeper in the Liga BBVA by far. Um, I enjoy playing with him. He's a very good uh, shot stopper and in general is a good keeper. Defense absolute solid. You've got 92 pace Albert at the back, and then you've got I think he's like 90 something pace uh, Danny Danny Alves at the right. Um, I don't know what his normal card is, but team of the year. He's absolutely sensational. Um, Ramos and PK, two absolutely magnificent centre backs. Ramos is such a tank, he's so fast, and it's just, he is a very good centre-back to have. Then you've got CDM, you've got Xabi Alonso, he may not win all the headers, but to be honest, I don't really need that, with Ramos and PK at the back, and then the pace from the left and right backs, literally all I need him there for is his passing, and he does that beautifully. There is a second overhead kick, it's kind of a bit more of a lacklustre one, as Diego Costa kind of comes into it, but it's still an overhead kick if you ask me. But yeah, Xavi as well. Again, great player. Um, more passing than it is uh, shooting. I, I like the shooting cams, but unfortunately, I haven't tried any Esther out, so I'll have to try him out soon. Um, left and right mids. Uh, David Villa is kind of like the substitute because you obviously I can't afford Cristiano Ronaldo. What the keeper was doing there, I do not know, but I can't afford Cristiano Ronaldo, so he's obviously going to be left mid now. Uh, right mid, I have got Di Maria, who is actually not a bad key, uh, not a bad player to be fair. He's got fast. Then we have the strikers, Diego Costa and Benzema. Both very, very good strikers. Diego Costa is definitely one of the OP ones this year. And he scores from left, right and centre, I must admit. Um, he is very OP when it comes to it. And he's a very good striker in general. So definitely go pick him up if you've not tried him out already. Possibly get him into a Brazilian squad. That's one of the teams that I haven't built yet. But I will do soon. So hopefully I've enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.